Peggy 18. Okay, welcome to another edition of Bogus Leak. Um, this week we're going to be a Xbox 360 review of the Modern Warfare 3 gameplay. Uh, I did one a few days back. Unfortunately, I seem to have a few errors going about. Um, some due to the fact that color doesn't seem to work. I'm using AMCAP to capture the Xbox gameplay and um, for some reason straight off it doesn't want to record in colour so <laughs> I'm going to give it another go um, I'm going to be doing some survival um, I did a survival before in interchange I'm going to be doing it again but All I'm going to be going into a bit of detail into People who haven't done survival before, it's basically, you get levels of toughness. Starts off with the basic, uh, you get a pistol, you go and shoot as many guys, nick their weapons, and then you unlock um, weapon spaces where you can go pick up upgrades, different types of weapons. You can even go to pick up um, different types of squads. Um, uh, you can also pick up claymores and things like that. I'm just going to open it now. I'm not going to play with anyone online. I'm just going to go by myself. Just no point. Okay, what we've got? There's interchange. As you can see, this one is bomb squads, uh, uh, tack dogs, choppers, and juggernauts. The juggernauts, I only saw one, but I haven't got to that high level yet. Uh, I presume there's going to be two at one point. Enemy forces okay, are advancing to your position. Do whatever you can to survive. Right, this is a very basic bit. This is where you get a few guys and you've got really awful weapons. We've got a shotgun, but they're really easy to take down. My game isn't all that great at the minute, so please bear with me. As you can hear in the background, possibly here, uh, my Xbox 360 is totally cold. Well, you can very plainly hear the CD going around. It sounds like a plane sometimes. Right, here we go. We just unlocked the first base. We've gone through wave one. So what I'm going to do here is what I do basically is refill the ammo. And then, as you can see at the top right hand corner, you can press B. That speeds things up a bit. So I'm just going to speed things up. Enemy troops and yes, I haven't written down what I was about to say. Um, I haven't had time with all the different things on my website right so I do apologise if it does seem a bit all over the place. Um, I am looking into, at the minute, uh, there's the GTA. Uh, we've got the GTA 5 coming out in the summer of next year. Uh, hopefully there is a lot more information over the upcoming months. 
I'm going by what I've seen on IGN. There is a new IGN center for Bogus Lake, so if you want to check me out, you just go to IGN and just search Bogus Lake and it's coming up straight away. But basically, there's so many videos on the GTA 5. I want to see much, much more. I want to see what it's all about. From what I've been told, it's the maps are absolutely massive. I'm not quite sure whether that's true or not. Um, the map is three times bigger than any other. Hopefully that is true. Because I can scope that out. I'll be scoping that out in a, in a video because I'm going to get GTA 5 straight away. I'm not going to wait. But back on to what we're doing now. Um, we're on with play. And it's, I think it's all clear. As you can see, it's getting a little more difficult. We've got attack dogs now. Uh, we've got guys who are thinking a bit more about taking a shot. You shouldn't really do. Don't try and go running into the thick of it if you can do yourself kill. Yeah, around here, for some reason on my Xbox, I can't see very well under here. I'm not quite sure whether that's supposed to happen. Already, I've got last stand. Okay, the last stand is basically when you get shot too much and you just get knocked out, and you get the chance to shoot down an opponent uh, to actually uh, get back up, or the easiest thing to do is to just kill another attack dog. Okay, we're just gonna um, grab an assault rifle. I'm going to use the ACR-6. Uh, As you can see, at the bottom left hand corner you've got money. And for every person you kill you get a little bit of money. And at the end of the match you get more money. And that goes through to buy weapons, um, uh, care pack, drops, anything really that can help you win a match. But on this map, Paymores are effective. They don't seem to work. I don't seem to get that where they actually fully work. The C4 Okay. Now we are coming up, I suspect, on the eyes in the sky, so we have to be very careful now. The choppers are very difficult to take down. Do not go out in the open. Try and keep something above your head uh, to try and block. What they try, because uh, they're going to try and shoot you down. Hostiles approaching your position from multiple directions. Okay, uh, have we got the helicopters? No, no. I suggest using a predator missile if you want to take down the helicopters, or use something, some type of weapon that's powerful. Like, like the ACR, like also, just to make everybody aware, I'm going to be switching uh, the software I'm using to create these videos. The main reason is they're not good enough. They're not good enough at all. They're either too dark, or they don't take everything, or the 
they just slow it down. If any of you have got recommendations for any type of software you've seen that captures Xbox 360 gameplays, please feel free to leave me a comment below. Any comments do help a great deal. Okay, now we're going to go down and get a Predator missile, I think. I uh, have left it a bit late. Oh dear. Go, 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 go. Oh, I'm in trouble now. Intel shows multiple enemy rotor wings right. in your airspace. Predator missile right, ready as for you deployment. can see, on the radar at the top left hand corner, we've got some birds in the air. So, we're going to use the Predator missile and we're going to try and take them out. Friendly Predator missile inbound. There we go, there's one down. Right, we only get one shot with the Predator Missile, so I'm going to go. ACR is very effective against uh, choppers and things, so it's a very nice weapon, but I haven't got to use the more advanced weapons yet. Predator Missile ready for deployment. Okay. The overall feel of this game, you know, is, is unreal, really. It's it's like the old Modern Warfare 2. The graphics are considerably better. Suicide bombers, keep your distance. But it's more progressive. The better you are, the more the computer's going to fight against you. Compared to Battlefield, this is more tactile than anything. It's using tactics on this game more than just running about and killing each other. Right, these guys have got um, bombs and stuff to so they glow red when you shoot them. And they'll lay down on the floor and they'll explode. So it's time to go too close. I'm taking shots. I know many people play uh, Modern Warfare 3. Uh, this video is mainly for people who do not play at all. First time players, basically. I know there's a lot of players out there moving from Battlefield to Modern Warfare and from Modern Warfare to Battlefield. Due to the new release of the uh, Black Ops 2, aware, I have become more of a fan of Battlefield. Chests. I do not like the way that Black Ops 2 was designed. I know many of you have got your own view on Battlefield and Call of Duty and all that, but that's mine. I'm not saying I will not play games if requested, it's just I would prefer not to. Uh, I, would, uh, I would actually advise you to get another player. Don't just go on this by yourself. Play. It's always fun to have another one. You see them die right in front of you. Because yeah, if they go down, pretty much every time you can go up and revive them. Uh, pressing the X button. But if you're by yourself, you only, you only get one one last stand and that's it you have to go to that grenade if you see that little grenade there you have to go over there and you have to uh, buy last stand I think it's four thousand dollars thermal scans show attack dogs in your area Right, 
wrong way of counting. I think the way of count is to get it all. And that's the more you need to credit yourself to try and take them out. Which you can't do that. Unless you've got a really Not bad, but I've seen better. And there we go. <laughs> I, w I, I thought I'd last a bit little longer than that, but that's the way gaming goes. This has been Bogus Lake. I'm going to try and do a video with the Juggernaut, and I'm going to try and get through how difficult it is to try and kill one. Do not try and kill one with a pistol. <laughs> if you even attempt that, I'm just going to sit and laugh, because that is just laughable. But use a rocket launcher. Use grenades, use C4, use anything that explodes and the juggernaut will go down after a few hits. A predator missile will take them out in one hit. Okay, um, if you've got any Modern Warfare 3 games and you want to submit your counter game to the one I've just been playing, feel free to post a video down in the comments box below and I will rate it or I will put my own review on it I know there's many better players than me out there there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds that are probably better than me but I'm more of an average player I play it to its ability but this has been Bogus League and thank you for watching my video